The summary section is the most read part of your LinkedIn profile. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to create an eye-catching summary section, and that's coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here, your friendly and helpful social media for business expert. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping business owners and brands to understand and harness the power of social media to generate leads and increase sales using LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a whole lot more. So hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with everything social media. I release videos every Wednesday and Saturday and you definitely don't want to be missing out on them. So tip number one is to utilize all of the available space that LinkedIn gives us. Now, 2000 character spaces are made available for us to tell our story, who we are, what we do and how we help. So you wanna make sure you utilize as many of those 2000 character spaces as possible. I believe you should be writing it in the first person as well and you're definitely wanting to be adding your industry keywords to help with SEO rankings as well. So here we are live screen action now on my LinkedIn profile. So when someone lands on your LinkedIn profile, it's the top box area that they're going to see straight away. I have a separate video on that and how to create an eye catching top box area and I will put that in the link below. But scrolling a little bit below that, this is where people start to get to your summary section. Now, LinkedIn have just recently changed the name, so it's, it's called the summary section, but it's now also called the about section. So this is where we're wanting to create an eye-catching about section or summary section. So the first part that people start to see will be the first three lines. So you want to make them um, very um, eye-catching and grabbing people's attention as well. People then get to click on here for more information. And this is where the summary section or the about section now fully opens up. So tip number one is we want to utilize all of the available 2000 character spaces that LinkedIn make available. That's right, 2000 character spaces. It may seem a lot, but believe it or not, when I now highlight pretty much all of this, this pretty much takes up about 2000 character spaces because the lines and the gaps um, count as actual um, character spaces. So I've pretty much utilized that whole space, 2000 character spaces to tell my story, who I am, what I do and how I help. So that's the first part of tip number one. Tip one, part A, utilize all of the available space. Part B on here, I just want to explain that I believe it's your LinkedIn profile, you writing about you. So you should be writing in the first person. And by that, I mean, I'm saying here, I'm, I'm a social media trainer, speaker, expert. I help business owners, salespeople to understand and generate leads using social media. It's Mark or it's me writing about myself. So I believe you should be writing it in the first person. And part C of tip number one is to utilize your keywords to help with search engine optimization or ranking. So if someone's looking for you on LinkedIn, they're gonna key in titles and keywords. And as you can see throughout my profile or summary section here, I have social media trainer, social media expert, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'm having that scattered all the way through my summary section. So if someone goes to the top box area up the top here and types in um, LinkedIn trainer or LinkedIn speaker or YouTube expert or Facebook for business, those type of things, hopefully if I've done everything correctly, I'm going to appear high up in the ranking. So tip number one is to utilize all those 2000 character spaces. So tip number two is to make sure you write in short three to four line paragraphs only. No big blocks of text. People will click off as soon as they've clicked on if they're confronted with a big page of information. So short three to four line paragraphs only. The magic formula being 25% about who you are, 75% about how you help others. So tip number two is to write in short three to four line paragraphs only. We become a globe or a nation or a country of, of, of scanners where people will quickly scan through everything online these days. Big blocks of text are a real big turn off. People will click off as soon as they've clicked on. So maximum three to four line 
paragraphs only. So you can see once people start scrolling through my um, summary section or the about section, there is no big blocks of text. So three to four line paragraphs only, utilizing bullet points and arrows to draw the eye's attention as well. Some bold text up here as well, capital letters, bold text, bullet points and arrows, bring your profile to life, draw the eye's attention that way as well. And then part of the magic formula is 25% about who you are and what you do, and then 75% about how you help others. So don't make your summary section a chest beating exercise about Mark's this and Mark's that and Mark's you know achieved this and, and Mark's done that. People will click off, they'll thinking, it's all too, it's all about you. It needs to be, um, you need to validate you and the experience and the job and the position that you're doing, but then you're wanting to turn it around and it's all about then how you can help others. I'm a social trainee, I'm a social media trainer, speaker expert, contact me for, let me assist you and your team, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the magic formula for tip number two, short three line paragraphs. 25% about who you are, 75% about how you help others. So tip number three is to bring your LinkedIn summary section to life by adding some images and maybe videos just like this one. Now this simple video that I'm recording with five LinkedIn summary tips, it's going to make its way to my summary section as well. So you're wanting to add some multimedia, some images and videos as well to your summary section. So tip number three is to bring your LinkedIn summary section or the about page to life by adding video and images. That's right. So again, the about page or the summary section, if we click on here or before we click on there, you can see lots of little images here, thumbnails as we call them, and the video icon to let people know that these are videos. So people are increasingly wanting to engage with us all via video. So most of my LinkedIn profile now is populated with videos. The video that I'm recording here will eventually get populated as here as well. So clicking on that um, see more opens up the whole profile down, or so, sorry, summary section down the bottom, you can see all of the available um, video and image links that I have added to my um, summary section. Brings it to live, so add images and add videos. You know, if people wanted to click on any of them, the pop-up video will appear, or the pop-up box will appear, and then that will take them to the latest video that I've just uploaded. And this particular one, your first YouTube video, what should it be? So you can sort of see that the um, one of the very important parts that we want to do is to 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 make you know make your LinkedIn profile not boring and just a a whole big plane or a whole big um you know, profile of just texts without images. So, um, so just all words, I mean. So you want to bring it to life by adding images and videos and then people will engage with you further the longer they're on your LinkedIn profile, reading, engaging, um, the greater the opportunity, the greater the business opportunities will flow. Now, if I scroll down a little bit further to my profile as well, you can see that theme continues all the way down with my profile where I have images and videos. There's a couple of videos there that aren't popping up at the moment. It's probably just a little bug in the system. But video and images are a must to add to your LinkedIn summary section. So if you're finding this video informative, entertaining and helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of my videos. Don't forget to tick the little bell icon as well. That way you get notified each time I upload one of these videos. So tip number four is to add your contact details. That's right. Don't make it difficult for people to reach out and find you. Add your website, add your email address, add your phone number, but make sure you add your contact details. So tip number four is you wanting to add your contact details to your LinkedIn profile. That's right, I know it sounds very obvious, but so many people don't do that. You don't wanna make people have to go searching for your email address or phone number or website or whatever. So within your summary section, you can add that as well. But before that, LinkedIn have just changed the, the top box area. Contact information, look at this very simple, very clear to add your 
um, websites, your Facebook page, your YouTube, your mobile phone, your, your email address, your Twitter. Add your contact details. Don't make it difficult for people to try and find you. Now, I add them again down here in my summary section. I think um, my phone number is added here. My email address is added there as well. Don't make it difficult for people to find you. And that goes to say across all of your social media platforms. On our websites, we all add our contact details, but so many people don't add their contact details that are very easily found on their Twitter profile or their Instagram page or YouTube channel or Facebook page and definitely here on LinkedIn as well. So tip number five is to have a call to action. That's right. Let people know what you want them to do next, either to go to your website, to go to your Facebook page, your YouTube channel, to pick up the phone, to send you an email, tell them to do something. If you don't tell them to do anything, they will just click off. So make sure you have a call to action as well. So tip number five, the last tip in this video is to add a call to action. That's right. All of this information on your LinkedIn profile is all about all about helping you, your business and brand, telling your story, what you do and how you do it to the business community around the world. So once someone has engaged with you on your LinkedIn profile, tell them what to do. And I do that a few times here. So the top part of my profile is just a little bit of knowledge about who I am and what I do. But then I'm already saying here pretty quickly, to learn more, join one of my online free online masterclasses. Copy and paste the link below. So there's already a call to action. So unfortunately, LinkedIn don't give us um, clickable links here in the summary section. So I'm having to tell people to copy and paste. So copy and paste, copy and paste this link to join one of my free online masterclasses that are coming up. But also here, contact me, another call to action. Contact me for in-house training, one-to-one -one social media training, keynote speak, speaking, building a LinkedIn profile, etc. Call to action here, my contact details. Are you struggling to understand social media? I solve this. Another call to action. Let me help your business or sales team or company generate hundreds or even thousands of leads, quotes and sales. LinkedIn consulting, YouTube consulting, training, Facebook. So have a call to action. If you're wanting them to go to your website, tell them to go to your website. If you're wanting them to pick up the phone and give you a call, tell them to pick up the phone. If you're wanting to take them to a landing page or your Facebook page or YouTube channel, whatever it is, have a call to action. If you don't tell people what to do or if you don't ask people to do something, they won't do anything at all except click off and the opportunity most likely will be lost. So there we go, five tips to help you create an eye-catching LinkedIn summary section. I hope you found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. I would love to hear your comments. So go to the comment section below, let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. If you're having any struggles with LinkedIn, let me know in the comment section as well. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I release video content like this every Wednesday and Saturday, and I don't want you to be missing out on them. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off. Hopefully I'll see you again in another one of my videos real soon.